With this video, we're going to talk about slope. Slope. And um, slope is a rate of change. I want you to remember that, a rate of change. If you guys ever go into business calc or calculus, this is very important. Slope is a rate of change. In particular, change in y over change in x. That's an n, just in case. <laughs> or rise over run, right? Change in y, y2 minus y1, change in x, x2 minus x1, if I'm going based on points. And we represent it by m, lowercase m. So I can find a slope if I have two points. Let me actually just do a real quick case, because this is review. x, y. Let's say that I have a graph. And I'm only talking about, you know, technically lines here because lines are the only things with constant slopes. So we're only talking about lines for now. You guys go into higher level math to talk about more, but all right. So let's say I have, let's do this. This is a point two, three, and this is a point here, negative four, negative two. Connect these dots. I have a line, rough sketching, whatever. It doesn't matter. I have my points. Now, there are two ways that I could find the slope. I want to find this slope. One method is to take the formula for a slope. y2 minus y1, second y coordinate minus first y coordinate over, change in x, the differences of the x coordinates. That's one way of doing it if I have two points. So let's do it that way first. So let's call this my point one and point two, just to go from left to right, which means that this is my first x coordinate, negative four, and my second x coordinate, two, and my first y coordinate negative two, and my second y coordinate three. I don't know if you heard that screaming in the background. That's my child, <laughs> two year olds, huh? So <laughs> um, we'll just keep that there because whatever, keeping it fun. Y two minus y one over x two minus x one. If I am finding a slope based on uh, the slope formula, this is called my second y coordinate. In this case, is positive three minus my first y coordinate, which in this case is negative two, minus negative two, over my second x coordinate, which in this case is positive two, minus my first x coordinate, which in this case is negative four. Simplify, three minus negative two, this becomes a plus, right? A negative, negative, three plus two is five. Two minus negative four, this becomes two plus four. So my slope here is positive five over positive six. Mind you, I want you to think about this as well. My slope is positive. If I have a positive slope, I am expecting my graph, my line to look like this. You see how it's increasing from left to right. A positive slope should show that on your graph. That is one quick way to determine if something is matching or not. Did I, do a, did I make a mistake? Does it match? Does it not match? Okay. My positive slope should have a line that increases from left to right. This is my slope based on the slope formula. Now, if I want to, let's say I have the graph, do it another way. What I could do is, again, it's change in y over change in x. Here's my first point, here's my second point. What am I doing to get from this point to this point vertically? I have to go up one, two, three, four, five. I went up five units, right? Then, what did I do horizontally? I went from here, one, two, three, four, five, six. I went to the right, six units, right? So to get from this point to this point, I had to go up five units and then to the right, six units. So if I'm gonna do my slope for this case, based on what I just did, right? I went up five units, that's a positive five. Change in Y on top. I went to the right from this point to this point, six units, positive six, right? My slope is five, six. Two different ways to do the same thing, okay? This is how we can find a slope if we have a graph or using the slope formula. And you should know both ways. 